uh, let's go for... Oh, how about Big Daddy? We got him now, huh? Oh, Vincent? Yeah. yeah. That's what you closed the last stream out getting him, right? Oh, he didn't even kill him. Come on, Vincent. These are the mirrors you're talking about, yep. huh? So this, this, hey, we could be ready to move on to uh, Mount Nibelheim if uh, we can get the drop here. The, the problem is not only do we need them to drop the item, but they're like a, a rare encounter too. So it's like a double whammy. It's a rare drop and a rare encounter. Wait, doesn't, doesn't Vincent also have a weapon that scales with how many things he's killed or something like yes, that? Yes, yep, that's, yep, death penalty. For every kill, it, it gives him extra damage, yeah. Yeah, I remember. See, I remember some of this old shit too. Um, yeah. I think Barrett has the strongest one. Uh, so his final weapon gives him. That's the one you get in the stairwell, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, on the way to Hojo. Yep. Uh, yeah. he gets extra damage based on the amount of AP in the materia in the weapon. So like, if you have like a bunch, like if you have eight Knights of the Round mastered, uh, he'll one hit kill anything in the game because it's a glitch. It'll glitch it out. Oh, and someone asked in the chat if we're going to be doing Emerald and Ruby. Yes, we definitely are. What's up, Lord Arqua? These guys, did, uh, come on. Well, we don't have a, it's, it doesn't say perfect playthrough. Yeah, it just says Platinum Trophy Run. Yeah, but you verbally mentioned multiple times you're going for a perfect playthrough. Yeah. So, now you're obligated. Ooh, that all materia. As soon as we get one of those mastered, that's GG. Are you selling it like instantly, or are you gonna save it for a little bit? Because well, uh, you don't need the money straight up, right? Yeah, we'll sell it right away because um, we we will need a lot of money for Chocobo Racing, right? Because uh, I'm not really gonna worry about like you know getting the gill first. It's more like you know we're gonna get everything we need and then get to the end. All right, this is brutal. Come on. I can we just please get the, drop. get the drop and get out of here? <laughs> like, we're so... Like, I feel like the the highest level I think I ever was in Disc 1 was, like, level 50 when I beat Genova, the boss of Disc 1. And, like, we're clearing past that at this rate. Yeah, you, uh, you're you going to be pretty far past that. The other thing is that these encounters are very annoying. Because, like, some of these dudes are, like, silencing us and, like, shit like that. Like, these other dudes are immune to attacks and shit. Like, it's ridiculous. No drop, of course. Fuck me. Red 13, you yeah. do? Because uh, his limit break is dropped by the boss in... Oh, is oh yeah, right near where it's up. No way. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Vincent, relax. We almost just got killed. <laughs> Chill, Vincent. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I gotta kill Vincent here. Well, okay. Well, Vincent's dead. <laughs> I think I'm gonna run. This. <laughs> We're getting out of here. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Well, yeah, that's why these guys can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> okay. Not uh, we we really almost died right there. <laughs> that would have been so annoying. <laughs> Because they uh, confused Vincent and he used beta on us and just obliterated us. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, see, this is very agitating. When they just do this, it's like, yeah, the whole team just gets confused. Have fun. It's like a time waste. Okay, dude, Cloud, chill. <laughs> We're getting out of here. Cloud, bro, he's massacring us. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Cloud is way too strong. <laughs> yeah, when you go to kill your own uh, team. Just turn off encounters. Well, no, no. I, I mean, I'm we're, we're looking for an encounter. Yeah, he needs a specific item to drop. And then he can leave this area. Um, excuse. There's no vi Don't you dare. Are you... Dude, this is insanity. <laughs> Confusion! Please. Please. Yes! We got it. We're done. Alright. Oh, thank goodness. 
All right, uh, the what we got the drop that we're never we're never gonna look at the item ever again. We're never gonna use it. Nothing, but we got it, so now we can move. Right. <laughs> Watch we die on the way out. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> I'd be insane. All right, on to Mount Nibelheim we go. Moving right along. I'll put um. Like find out the truth of what happened. Yep. All right. So the good news is we're like so ridiculously overpowered at this point that like these new areas we're just blowing through like nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Level forty. <laughs> like just a little, just a little bit ahead. You're supposed to be like level twenty here or something. Like that. We can fight the boss right now. Uh, there's still a lot of treasure to collect, though. So I, how about we just be, kick the boss's ass? Just kick his face in, and then we'll continue doing everything we want to. Yeah, yeah. let's fight the boss, because the boss gives us uh, the enemy skill Trine, which is, like, the best, like, cost-effective, like, AoE strong attack right now, for sure. Yeah, Trine. Isn't that one of the missable ones you were talking yep. about? Uh, so what it is, is Trine cannot be obtained freely on disc three or past disc two. So you get a fourth enemy skill and there's not like a normal enemy that has Trine passed when you get that enemy skill. It's just in the tower in, um, oh my God, the Yuffie's little hometown. Yep. yep. Name uh, the, the other place Mutai. you fight it is the crater, but it's like the first time you go there, basically. Like when you very first go there. Alright, so I do kind of just want to chill here. Come on. Hit us with trying. I don't want to use Vincent's limit break here because uh, he'll randomly do a fire attack, which will heal the boss. And that's not going to do us any good. <clears throat> Oh, nice. Nice. We got Aerith's. Okay. Well, I love when we get Aerith's Limit Break because it means we could just, like, spam the strongest spells we've got, right? Dude, do you want to use Trine, please? Hello? <laughs> I'm going to kill him just with normal attacks, waiting for him to... All right, yeah. Heal yourself. I don't care. There we go. All right. We're good. Try. Alright, so we learned Shrine. Let's go ahead and blast him with Odin. Dude, Odin is the coolest in the world. I love me some Odin. Uh, JP players should definitely save for anniversary. I promise you, save for anniversary. Uh, no, Shrine is not his death move. How many Link levels does everyone have? I mean, I have 82 or 83, something like that. I've gotten a lot of progress done uh, uh, during the Mario Party streams. Don't do it. Yeah, I love Odin and FF8. Yep, yep, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so now we got the counterattack materia as well. Definitely got to put that on, huh? Let's put that on Cloud. Okay. All right, let's go back and collect some items. Galleon Beast. Love that boy. Vincent and his limit breaks kick fucking dude. Alright, I think we wanna go down this pipe right here. <clears throat> okay. Power Soul. This is a really strong weapon for Tifa. I think this make like a Quin explode like Quintuple explodes her damage based upon I think status effects she has on. Like, I'm pretty sure that's like a huge strat for speedruns is using that item. There is one more enemy I want to fight, uh, the dragon, but whatever. What, dude? We got, li we got Vincent's next limit already. <laughs> what is it, every hundred enemies you kill, you get I one? think for him, it's really small. Like, it's only like 60 enemies or something like that because, like, you get them so late. Um, they want you to be able to catch yeah. up. And you can't really control him, either. Yep, when he's uh, transformed like that. Ah, there we go. So this dragon right here, we get steal from him. 
Oh, got it in one fucking try. Okay. Uh, let's say there's with Aqualung. I feel like a dragon wouldn't like Aqualung. Shiva. Aqualung. You got some pneumonia. This guy's got a lot of health. Maybe I'll just bust out the big shit. Odin. Odin. Odin Sama. Wait, don't these guys give something too? Yeah, yeah, you can morph these guys. That's what it is. Alright, so here, we're in the reactor, but again, I don't you can't do anything in the reactor. It's basically just like meant for the story flashback, but never like really serves a purpose. Yeah, like the Genova door is locked and that ah, nothing we can do. Yeah. You don't even have any dialogue in front of it. That's the sad yeah, part. Yeah, weird, right? You expect them to say, oh, hey, look, here's where fucking Genova was, by the way. Okay, I think here, three times speed for me up here, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Done in Mount Nibaham already. Not bad. That was pretty quick. Destroyed that shit. Yeah, Nas, we're getting pretty far, actually. Like, we're... You're moving right along. Yeah. All right, so since we, we fight a, a Shinra employee in here, I think I'm going to go ahead and bring in Barrett, actually. Oh, you're at Rocket Town. Yep. I'll, leave, I'll save Cloud Summit Break for the boss. Gotta fight Palmer here in a second. Yep. Alright, very good. Rocket Town. Let's go. Rocket Town. Fly to space. Now we get one of my favorite characters in the game. Actually, we'll, we'll have the full party after this, too. Yeah, Sid. So, this right here, the shotgun for Vincent, this is literally the only place you can get this, I believe. Right there. Hmm. I need a shoddy. I'm gonna buy two, just because I can. Huge buff in defense. Yeah, it's GG now. Now, now our defense is way up. We can't be touched. It's over. Palmer's not a very hard fight. No. But I, we're, I'm pretty sure we're gonna, like, one-shot him with Cloud, too, so... <laughs> I really think Cloud might one-shot him with his limit break. What's funny is I could have saved uh, Aerith's um, Fury Brand. So it's like Cloud could have done the Meteor Rain. Oh, it didn't kill him? Fury Brand, second Meteor Rain. Okay, now you're dead. <laughs> yeah, the double limit break. Then it would have been just too easy. Yeah. All right, so now we can go ahead and get the Tiny Bronco. So at this exact moment, what do you think we have to do now? Give me a guess. Now that we saw, we'd rather fight Palmer in a bit. Fight Palmer, but what do you think we have to do before that? Are you gonna go grind up Sid? We have to go do another fight at Fort Condor, right now. <laughs> How many total fights are there? There's there? only a few left. No, but I mean like overall. How many have you like? Are there that you can Maybe do? Maybe like ten, ten or so. It's just this really sucks because like we literally have to go all the fucking way back. So it's like we have to go back through the mountains <laughs> like this <laughs> huge pain in the ass. You know what I realized one really good thing about the three times speed is it doesn't mess up the music. Yeah, yeah they overlaid that nicely because you'd expect everything to be like. Yeah. This rocket looks rusty as hell. Oh, this guy's theme is the best. We heard the captain was here. I'm the motherfucking captain. Sid, the greatest. Oh, he's going to be so good in the remake. I wonder if they'll censor the cigarette out of his mouth. Oh, no, please. Don't even say that. I wouldn't think they would. Japan doesn't usually cave to shit like that. How did that thing not fall all the way over? Uh, RNG, my boy. That's the same way Goresh uh, wins all these minigames. What do you think?
Uh, the, uh, it's got Goresh's RNG, of course. <laughs> you were supposed to laugh there, Nas. Come on. <laughs> RNG. We'll be taking the title. Alright, let's destroy his ass. Barrett, get the fu Yo, whoa, Barrett! He was, that man was walking on air! I didn't know Barrett could fly. Skywalker. <laughs> oh, there goes your plane, soon to be boat. <laughs> 